Nowadays, we're living in a golden age of female superheroes, but where did it all begin? This is the red heroine from the 1929 Chinese film Hongxia. Her ability to fly through the skies, fight off entire armies with ease, and her tendency to disappear into a puff of smoke make her the first ever example of a female superhero in film. From 1925 onwards, there was a frenzy of female warriors in Chinese film, heroically fighting in the name of justice, but they didn't have any actual superpowers like those of Red Heroine. Let me give you some background. At the time, China was writing a wave of feminism, encouraging a cultural shift from old traditions like foot binding, arranged marriages, or being expected to preserve their chastity by committing suicide if their husbands died. The surge in popularity of independent and exciting female characters, complete with swashbuckling skills and non-gender conforming outfits, was pretty revolutionary for the time. Especially given that until recently, all the parts of women in plays or traditional opera had been played by men. But how did the jump from valiant swordswoman to flying through the sky superhero actually happen? The answer is Shuan Guai Wuxia, meaning the divine, the strange, martial arts, and heroes. Shen Guai Wuxia are fantasy tales with helpful spirits, flying fireballs, vicious demons, and epic battles. The supernatural nature of these films detached power from literal physical strength, and because of that, the women in these films had the same potential as men to be the most powerful. It's pretty cool, right? These women not only were setting an example in front of the camera, but also behind it, with many of them being producers, writers, and directors. Fan Xuepeng, the actress who gave life to the red heroine, could even be credited with being the first ever VFX artist in China, because she actually painted her character with a red pigment, frame by frame in the projection copies, making the movie a box office sensation. In the early 20th century, these heroines inspired a generation that revolutionized the role of women in Chinese society. I'm Maya. I hope you enjoyed this video. We had a lot of fun making it. If you did like it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you want to find out about anything more that we covered in the video, um, we have a blog that goes much more into depth on all the subjects that we do in our videos, so you can click on the link in the description for that. And if you do have any ideas about what you'd like us to cover in our videos, let us know in the comment section below. We'll be checking those out. Uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.